Matt Grothy is the heart and soul of the USF football team. He's a great leader. Um, he's a great leader. His will to win. Um, he, you know, he doesn't want he doesn't want to play the end on a bad note. So he'll do whatever he can to you know create and and he's a playmaker. So earlier tonight he had a two yard TD run. Ben Busby in motion, handoff. No, it's Grothy keeping it, and he's going to run left side and get the first down. Boy, he got bent back. I hope he's all right. He's not at the 32-yard line. This might not be good. Bulls fans, this might not be good. He got bent back at the 32-yard line, and Mark, I don't like this at all. When I saw Matt go down, um, just hearing um, him, you know, him yell like that and the way he felt awkwardly, you knew something was wrong. I, I knew it wasn't good because... Matt is a really tough guy, and I heard him yelling, so I knew it was pretty bad. About as bad as it gets for Matt Grothy. Having just become the Big East career leader in total yards a week prior, the Bulls QB tore his left ACL against Charleston Southern. Now out for the season, and having already used his redshirt year, Grothy's playing career at USF is over. You know, I got to look at a positive. You know, I can't get down on it. There's nothing I can do to change it. Um, just a new chapter in my life. You know, I'm done playing here, and hopefully it's time to move on to bigger and better things once it's all said and done. The captain's taken the injury about as well as one can, but that's not really a surprise to his coach. Well, I, I don't know what he's supposed to do. I'm not being I'm, I'm being honest here. I'm not being sarcastic. or I mean, Matt's, uh, you know, what choice does he have? You know, you, you can sit there and... and uh, be down, you know, I'm sure that it's tough on him. You're not going to come out and, you know, I'm sure it's very tough. It'd be tough on all of us. Uh, but I, you know, it is what it is. Now, Grothy's knee may relegate him to the sidelines, but it doesn't completely remove him from the game. He can still mentor, tutor, and teach. Well, one, I, I love doing it. Yesterday, I <clears throat> was messing with the guys, telling them, you know, can't call me Matt or Growth anymore. It's Coach Growth. Yeah. He, he's taught me different things on and off the field, and, and all throughout summer. Um, you know, we've actually competed in the weight room and, and different things like that. But um, you know, he's really helped me um, as far as the mental aspect part. You know, of, of uh, getting ready for a game. Even so, it's not quite the same experience. Awkward. Um, it was awkward last night. You know, watching. Not uncomfortable, but awkward, if that makes sense. And while losing Grothy is tough for the Bulls, the season does go on, and players do have confidence in their new QB. Oh, you know, Matt's a big loss to our team. He's a great leader. You know, he's been our quarterback for the last three years. So, but um, it, it, it's, it hurts us to lose him. But, you know, we got BJ out there, and I think BJ's going to do a great job. He can run this offense very well, too. We continue to look forward to Florida State tomorrow with a deeper look into USF's new quarterback, BJ Daniels.